how there have been several raids against opposition leaders and uh, people linked to opposition parties in the one month since uh, the model code of conduct uh, was put in place. The government, of course, has been insisting that these raids are not political in any form, but uh, that these are neutral raids. These have taken place in Madhya Pradesh, in Goa, in Delhi, in Telangana and in Tamil Nadu uh, as well. Um, Aravind joining us with uh, the latest details on that. Before I go across to him, this was something that was in fact taken up by the Prime Minister today, who once again uh, raised questions about uh, the Congress chief in relation uh, to, to, to this kind of corruption. Let's listen. Congress ke gotale mein ab ek naya naam jod gaya hai. और वो है तुगलक रोड चुनावी घोटाला तुगलक रोड चुनावी घोटाला कांग्रेस गरीब बच्चों के मुंह से निवाला छीन करके उनको मिलने वाले आहार को छीन करके अपने नेताओं का पेट भर रही है so notably of course the congress president rahul gandhi's official residence is on uh, tugluk road in new delhi which would explain why the prime minister invoked that but arvind uh, take us through these raids what is it that the it department uh, is saying uh, you've collated this information from what's available in the public uh, domain but the it department at this point saying that it can't really reveal details Uh, Ankita, based on the information that is available in the public domain, we compiled the data which shows that the income tax department have conducted around 11 raids since the announcement of Lok Sabha elections. The Lok Sabha elections was announced on March 10. From March 10 to April 10, that is exactly in one month, the income tax department have conducted around 11 raids across the country. Uh, they have raided around 84 places, more than 84 places in these 11 raids. Uh, 13 places have been raided in Andhra Pradesh. Around three raids have taken in Karnataka, two raids have taken in Tamil Nadu, and one raid that is still continuing that is linked to Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Kamal Nath's aide, Praveen Kakkar and Rajendra Kumar. So if you could see the entire data, it is very clear from this data that the raids that have been taken, the raids that have been conducted by the income tax department since the announcement of Lok Sabha polls are only against the opposition parties. None of the ruling party candidates or any of the allies of the BJP have been uh, raided as on debt. So we tried reaching out to the income tax department. In fact, on April 2nd, we wrote a mail to the income tax department asking details regarding the raids conducted by the department since the announce announcement of Lok Sabha polls. Uh, the income tax department have refused to give that details. The in, in fact, the income tax department cited a section in the income tax act saying that we cannot divulge information regarding the ongoing investigation. In fact, a written response we have got from the income tax act, income, income tax department, which says that as per the, uh, section 138 of the income tax act, they cannot give, they cannot share any details regarding the ongoing investigation or any of the rates that have been conducted by the department. But contrary to this particular stand of the income tax department, day before yesterday, the income tax department gave a detailed statement regarding the raids that have been uh, conducted in Madhya Pradesh, in Bhopal, in Indore, in Goa, in uh, New Delhi, in connection with uh, Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Kamal Nath, uh, AIDS, Praveen Kakkar and Rajendra Kumar. Right. So that particular, the particular detailed statement also have details about the seizure and also other details of the raid. So this is particular, this is exactly contrary to the earlier stand of income tax department. We reached out to income tax department again, but we haven't got any response, Ankita.